Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star 4. Let's check out Zeo's Fort. What do you mean there's an invisible barrier? I can clearly see it. It's not an invisible plot wall. But we do have some visible enemies. A new one on the right there, tech user. And those guys can deal a lot of damage with their magic. It's not insanely high, but still, you want to watch out for them. You want to take them out pretty quickly there. So, oh, wait, what am I doing? Just use my uh, macro that I got here. That way I can heal anything that they do to me, but it looks like not today. Well, I don't think anyone needed healing, but well, it was there. But anyway, yeah, no elemental weaknesses to worry about there. Let's see if we can find Demi around here and get out of here in one piece. Let's see, the stairs to the right lead to a dead end, so don't worry about that. But I do want to go down those stairs. After fighting another new enemy, Shadow Saber. Let's see, these guys, they are weak to light elemental abilities, so I'm going to have Chaz help out with that when I get to his turn. Okay, yeah, Sue or Thunder, it's light elemental, essentially. Yeah, have you attack, and let's see, there's nothing else I can do, really. Hmm. I guess go with... Hmm, Zan might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm going to be making two trips through this area. The first one, I want to clear out all the treasure in the place. Then I'll go back to town, heal up, and come back. So don't worry about your tech points. Because we'll get a refill for them soon enough anyway. By the way, Shadow Sabers can drop a weapon. I think it's actually just called Shadow Saber. I think it can inflict instant death on an enemy. Can't do that with the money there, but it's nice. But yeah, th there's something weird about the weapon. I'm not sure how it works. Like with the stats, it has like really high stats. But there's like an overflow thing that ends up make it, making it extremely weak. Unless you're at level 1, and then you could do that, I guess. But, yeah, I wouldn't use it. I don't think it's worthwhile. The instant death effect doesn't happen often enough anyway. But anyway, okay, so we got a new sword there. Yeah, a lot better than the one we got. Awesome. Let's see. I don't want to leave just yet. I want to head back and... Well, you saw there was kind of a pitfall by the stairs there. That's one-way trip down to the previous floor, just like... But, well, the Dragon Quest games. And, haha. Yeah, you can't walk from the main entrance to get over here. At least as far as I know, you have to drop down from the upper floor to get down to this part. And then go back, come in, and we try again. We'll continue onward then. There's a few things like that in this area. Some of them lead to dead ends. Others do not. Fortunately, the encounter rate's taking it easy on me. As usual. There's actually six of those rooms that I was just in there. Arranged like a hexagon. There's one below us too, but that's just a dead end. So don't worry about it. Now there is another chest down that pitfall there. But I don't want to go there just yet. I'll do that on the way out. But one thing I want to do here... I wonder if you can get into a random battle in those land bridges. I don't know. But anyway, I do want to get this chest first before leaving. Now, this is actually the path to get to the end of this place, but I don't want to do that just yet. All I want to do is just get my treasure and get out. Oh, here I got one of those shadow blades. Oh, an Air Slash, too. That's a really good one. Let's see. Was that for you? Or Yeah, yeah. That one hits all enemies. So it's pretty good to use during random battles. I would highly recommend using that. But all right, let's see. I think you're the only one who can equip it. So, yeah, it drops your stats, but you do get an instant death effect off it. I don't think it's worthwhile, but it is there. It's a pretty common drop, too. I've gotten one in every playthrough I've done of the game. By the way, remember where that chest is for later? I'm going to be coming back there off screen once I've gotten everything I want to here after healing up back at Kadari there or anywhere else, wherever I go. I 
suppose I don't have to go there. Their inn is a little on the pricey side. It might be better to go back to Ido. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. After fighting some new enemies here. Okay, let's see. Ripper. They are weak to water. So, let's see. Hmm. Well, I got no other use for it. So, yeah, let's show off. Air Slash, if I can. And let's see. Rippers are weak to... Where is it? Water. So let's use that on him. And let's see. They're also weak to light as well. So, Sue could work pretty well against them. But I wanted to demonstrate Air Slash there. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I wonder if Air Slash takes on the element of your equipped weapon. I don't know. I guess I never really thought about that, but... Well, I got Shadow Blades to sell, at least. I wonder if they sell for decent money. I don't know. But anyway, okay. Uh, laser Shield. I do not think I ever used that. No, I don't. Yeah. So, let's see. I don't think even Han can equip it, can he? Oh, he can. Hmm. Okay, yeah, sure. For some reason, I didn't have that listed in my notes. I guess I forgot about it or something. But anyway, okay, well, so much the better for him. All right, and after that battle, we gained a level for Rika there. And let's see, she learned Garez, so that'll be really nice for us coming up here. But anyway, that's everything I can do here as far as treasure goes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal up back at Ido, and then I'll meet you back up on the third floor there where we got that claw for Rika. Okay, we're back where we got that claw for Rika, and I also gained some levels on the way up. We're back up here again. Let's see, not Rika. Uh, Alice, she learned death, and that's involved in a sort of a dual tech or a combo or whatever, so if I get into a random battle here, I might take, a, take an opportunity to show that off there. Also, I think it was Han. Yeah, he learned Ribbit. I forget what exactly that does. I think it's like a, some status debuff that's like virtually useless. Debuffs just really suck in this game, at least from what I've seen. So yeah, I don't think they're worthwhile. I'd rather just kill the enemies outright. But let's continue onward. Okay, well, let's see if we can put that to use, the new uh, dual tech there. I basically put Rika and Alice to use those two techs in order to, uh, what is it? Yeah, in order to use the dual tech there. So let me see if this will work. Yeah, I had everyone just healing and I want their turns to, yeah, there it is. Yeah, you basically you want to get their turns in order like that so that way you'll get the dual tech so it's kind of like using dual techs in chrono trigger except you have to select the individual text manually i guess it's more like banding in the after years there so yeah instant death all enemies eh, it's not bad not that i'm ever gonna really use it anymore so we might as well just get rid of it but it's there they put all the combos, I think, like in the instruction booklet or whatever came with the game. Oh, who's that guy? Yeah, let's forget about him. Oh, we can't go anywhere. Okay, never mind then. Hey, okay, how's it going? Zio, is that you? Ah, oh, not. Your proposal is acceptable for boss time against Juza. Okay, so, let's see. Do we have any buffs for you? No. You just attack there. Let's see. Rika, why don't you go with Samir? Let's see. Chaz. By the way, uh, Juza is weak to thunder, or light, or whatever it is. But cross slash, or cross cut, deals more damage, so I'm going to stick with that for now. Let's see. Okay, we got Rika casting Samir. Let's go shift on Grizz there. And let's see, Han, you really don't have much useful to do other than healing. So, hmm, I guess go with Watt. You don't have anything else I really care about. But I do want to get faster than this guy for healing purposes. Not that he's really that fast to begin with. Ow! Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Okay, you keep going there. Let's see, Rika, why don't you start healing us? Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, you go with Rez. No, wait, you go with Garez on yourself. Yeah, everyone, pretty much heal yourselves. Save yourselves! Oh, that's right, you don't have any healing. I guess you'll have to go with the wood cane there, then. That's... Wait, no, not Ch Chaz, I want you to Rez on Han there. Because Chaz is going to need more... Er, hmm. Now, I want you to use Garez on Grizzix. because he has a lot more max HP. I hope I did this all right. Oh, I guess I didn't really need to worry about Chaz after all. I could have had him heal himself, which probably would have been a little better, but that's okay. Okay, so, keep on going there. Let's see, you are done with buffing, so let's go to Double Slash. Keep going with good cross cut. Let's see, you got Vortex, so let's put that to use. And let's see, go with Garez on Chaz. But otherwise, yeah, this is a pretty straightforward boss fight. Good thing I saved all my skill charges here. Yeah, usually single targeting skill charges, you want to save for the boss fights there, but they still give you more than enough for what you really need. Let's see, I don't think I have any healing to do, do I? Okay, yeah, let's keep going with what? By the way, hmm, it's not really relevant right now, but the Watt spells are generally slightly more powerful than the equivalent Foy spell. So, that's something to keep in mind there. I don't know why his magic is dealing so little damage to us. Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, never mind, then. Ow! Okay, yeah, Chaz. And, let's see, Grizz just Well, Han needs some healing, too. We all do. Okay. Yeah, we don't have access to multi-targeted healing yet. For now. We'll get some eventually, but for now. Good thing I got that Garez spell going. Okay, so let's see. Grizz is healing. You got Rika. How about you? Hmm. Okay, you heal Han there. And I'll have Han... Where are you? There you are. Yeah, heal Chance. That should be pretty Hopefully Alice will be alright. Eventually, we will get... Um, I think the multi-targeted healing spell is Sar. There's like Sar, then Gisar, Nasar, and all that stuff. But anyway, okay, let's see. How are you doing there? You are done! <laughs> oh, well, I could cast Sue. Yeah, that would be... Um, yeah, let's use two and have Alice pitch in with the healing there for now. Han, you can also help out. Help yourself. Save yourself! All right. Easy enough. Oh, thanks, game. Thanks. They would have been useful before I started the fight. Well, basically what Warcry does, it boosts your attack power, I think. Something like that. So... Yeah, that would have been nice. Oh, well. But anyway, okay, let's heal up Alice there. And... Let's see. Go with that. That ought to be pretty good for us. Okay, so now... Oh, we gotta go around here. Okay. I thought this was the top floor. Okay. Now, before moving onward here, I want to rearrange my equipment a little bit. So, let's get everything off of Alice and Han there. Be pretty good. How are we doing on HP? We are doing fine. Okay, let's continue onward and upward. And let's get out of here. Yeah, come on! I was like two steps away. That's a weird way of restraining her. No, 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 no. Resist impure thought. Oh, well, that was easy. I wonder why she couldn't have done that herself. I mean, I would think that an android would be much more stronger than we are. Oh, I guess a little. Oh, thank you. 
Hmm, reminds me of Final Fantasy III. Yeah, that's one of the skills that she has. I don't know how you pronounce it. M-E-D-I-C-E? -E. Medis? Medice? I don't know. I think it's like Medis or something, like medicine or something. But it's like an abbreviation for some reason. How powerful could she possibly be? She's got the green hair, even! Yeah, we kind of need to save the world here. Ah! Well then, why didn't you? What's the problem? What the? Who's there? What is this, my main LP? You're supposed to have a question mark there. Nuts. Oh. Uh, you kind of burned his village to the ground. I think he's pretty right in cursing you out. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, I was wondering. We took down your, uh, I don't know, what was he, like an apprentice or something? Yeah, you're kind of brutally murdering people. That's not exactly very nice. Because we're going to kick your ass if you don't stop? How powerful could he possibly be? Well, we've been kicking ass so far. Who's that? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Didn't Rune say something about not fighting him? Yeah, the whole planet's kinda going to hell. Can we just, or can you just remove the barrier? That would be nice. But, that would include you, too, doesn't it? It doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. What about you? Well, you're just one man. But I suppose killing all life on the world would be relatively easy to accomplish. Yeah, I think so, too. Can we defeat Zeo? Himself? Find out next time on Let's Play Fantasy Star 4! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! What the...